Here we go. Okay. If you all would like to invite your energy to just flow, your root chakra to open wide and your crown chakra to open wide. So your soul, your angel, your guides, your guardians can flow in and send their good energy to you and their personal messages feel welcome to. The librarians are here, they've been with me all day. They are ready to come in. Monica, should we call you in a set, certain time, 20 minutes? Um, yes, thank you. I would appreciate that. Okay. Mm, they're here. We are pleased to join you this night. Certainly the conduit talked a great deal. We are pleased that she has stepped to the back. She is with us, but to the back. So she will be quiet for a few moments. Greetings to you. We are so pleased to join you on this moment. Hmm. As you know, there are many dimensions, many existed long before your three-dimensional physical reality was created. Many of the beings that you connect with have never been physical. They do not necessarily wish to or understand the desire for fleshy physicality. You, each of you, you already know such group that you connect with, some of you connect with Pleiadians or with angels or whomever, whomever from whatever dimension. Many of you already know whom you have great comfort to connect with. This may be because you are originally from said group, or it may be, or dimension, or frequency, or it may be that you have visited with them and developed friendship, if not in this life, in another or outside of life. Or it may be for this life, there is appropriate resonance that allows for such connection. For whichever reason, each of you is connected with someone, somewhere, something that is not of physical temperament. And if you give yourself a moment, and issue forth 
an invitation, whomever, whatever, will of course present themselves. Then your challenge is to truly acknowledge and believe such a connection is real. So please give yourself this moment. Open your mind, open your heart, open your frequencies and say, whom is there for me at this moment? Or what is there? Who is it through the most divine love is connected with me and wishes to have an adventure with me at this moment? You can feel in your heart the truth of your connection. So please honor this truth, for this is actual reality, not the dream of your 3D. This is the reality of cosmic divine nature. So allow yourself to feel connected with this group or individual and consider how this may be a group that has never been physical, the closest they may ever come to three-dimensional physical is their connection with you and possibly others like you. You give to them a vicarious experience. What delight for them. For in your fleshy life, you are capable of feeling things of such depth and breadth that is beyond their ability. So they may enjoy the feeling of your emotional and conceptual state. As though they are watching a truly good performance, a movie, or a stage production, or a living art. Now understand, it is most likely these beings were in existence before your big bang. So they are more connected to other times, places, frequencies, dimensions than this one. Yet, they were here when it happened. They experienced the creation of your reality. They may have helped with it. And at that time, something that was very small and compact expanded to become enormous. So enormous and continuing to be more and more enormous every moment. The material that existed in the original compressed state is the same material that exists in all the grand expanse and exists within you. Within you is the material that was within that first bang, no, third bang, but you understand, for the first two were absorbed and became part of the third. So when all of your physical reality created, 
even though that was by your way of thinking long ago, you were also created at that moment. The same material that makes everything makes you, and it makes all that is around you. It makes every living being and every seashell, every stone, every plant, every handful of soil, the water of your planet, all of you were born simultaneously at this moment of creation. And all of you, you think that you are of different genetic material. No, you are the same. You are all bang. Every moment from then on was born in an instant. This was truly where even the concept of time. You were born the same moment time was born, the same moment gravity was born, the same moment elements were born. You are siblings with all of these for you were born together in the great womb of the compressed state. If you wonder what it was like to be in any past time, you need only to look into your DNA, to your cells, to your molecules, to your dust state. For your body remembers, just as if you were to see a hypnotherapist, they could regress you to any time in your life, to your birth, to your past lives. This memory is within you. It is not just in your brain. It is within the entirety of you. If you regress far enough with this therapist, you will return to that moment of creation. Therefore, we say, hmm, and it's difficult with words. Those who you are connected with, who are of other dimensions and frequencies, who may have been here since before the bang, they were there at that time. They observed it. If you go into your physical memory and you connect with whomever, whatever you are connected with of their actual memory, you can take yourself back to any time. For you may feel the existence as they are sharing the story or the vision simultaneously. They may recreate the feelings within you of times past, for they exist outside of time. For them, it is not a difficult action. They're not remembering many billions and trillions and zillions, zillions years ago. They merely go from one placeholder called time to another placeholder called time and say, oh yes, this. It is very simple for them. So imagine that you are your divine friends. Invite yourself to be cradled in their arms. 
going to ask them to return you to this place of creation from their perspective watching over all this happening. You may imagine from their perspective, from their frequency, from their dimension, which was in existence before this bang. And as you see all the debris, floating, projectiling, swirling, forming gases, coalescing into planets, and you see some cracking open for portals and other dimensions are born. It is a very big, complicated, situation and yet everything is connected for everything came from one to expansive so the mandalas the grids the networks the frequencies the flows the currents are very connected and sophisticated even here in this now time on your earth, you may connect to a frequency, a current that will have an impact on that previous time when all existence occurred. For again, time, it's not linear, it is merely placeholders, like pins on a bulletin board. It matters not if you're in this time or that, for they can be connected together with a frequency. So we say, if everything is connected, when you bring yourself to earth and you see all the connections here, they are merely a reflection of what is occurring everywhere. To observe your planet, to become one with the many frequencies, grids, mandalas, currents, flows, ebbs, of your beautiful planet is also to become one with the same of everywhere and to realize that there's no hold with time. You may zip through your universe, through the galaxies, the great gases, the clusters, the nebulas, or you may go into the soil of your planet where the funguses, the moistures, the plant roots, the underground insects, the burrowing mammals, the underground rivers, the magma flows, the crystals. There's no difference truly in the universe and your soil. But the more you connect with these networks, 
of curiosity and enjoyment, the easier it will be for all these beings who lack physicality to support you, to have an impact. We hope we are clear with this lesson. Wonderful. We will depart now. We share our joyous grace with each of you. Blessings. Thank you so much, teacher. This is truly our pleasure to spend time with you. It brings us much joy. Thank you. Oh, wow. Um, that was less than, that was about 15 minutes. Well, I guess they felt like they said what they had to say. Exactly. I was going to ask a question, but they wanted to leave already. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, they're trying not to mess me up the way they did. <laughs> they're being very polite. They're like... <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out there. Run away. <laughs> still around. What what is your question? Uh, we we can see. What oh the... no, I, I kind of didn't. I uh, I mean, I understood that they were saying that uh, try to connect with the non physical beings, right? And um, that time is just a, a placeholder on a bulletin board. Yeah, and that these physical beings had been there. I just wanted to recap it that they had been there before even the creation of our world, mm -hmm. and they had witnessed everything. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm just failing to understand how it would be easier to connect with them for us to have an impact on the planet and on the mandalas in the grid. So first of all, it drives them nuts when people say things like all time is happening at once because they're saying time doesn't even exist. <laughs> so it's not all happening at once because it only, it doesn't exist. It's used for as like, um, you know, it's like if you have a bunch of cards and you put them together and you can flip them, you're creating time. But then if you need to study your cards, you take them apart and you pin them up on the board so you can see them all at once. So they're like, time doesn't exist except we keep clinging to it. When we're supposed to be playing with it as opposed, it's just supposed to be an element, not the way. So for connecting out, I think what they're trying to say is because time doesn't exist, really, um, except that we make it so. Or they're saying it exists, but it's not important. No, no. How, how is that connection to these non-physical beings is going to have an impact? Well, what they're saying, they feel like where you get so overwhelmed about connecting with Earth and honoring Earth. And they're like, but it's the same as connecting with out there. It's the oh. same as connecting with the universe. It's the same as connecting with angels. Like angels were around before the universe was created. Yeah. So, but yet they're, you know, they're just so cool. Angels are pretty awesome. So they're saying anytime we have, we feel overwhelmed by healing the planet, just remember we have within us all the material that is everywhere. And we have within us 
the uh, like the muscle memory, the DNA memory. You know, okay. if we can be regressed to visit past lives, if we wanted, we could be regressed to go to the beginning of physical existence. Because each of us was there just as part of it. I understand we were all there. And it, once it was created, we were all part of it. Mm -hmm. We are part of everything. Yes. But then like the angels and other dimensional collectives were there already because they're oh, not part of it. Oh, okay. So you're saying, you're just saying since they've been there, they can help you understand better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or they can help you like be more impactful in planetary healing because they know they've been there they're kind of like your elders. They know what's going on. They can help you figure it out. Yeah, we can think of them like older siblings or cousins. Right. You know? But so they were there. We can talk with them. Like we can feel it within us. We can have memories of it. But they were observers of it. Yeah. yeah. And if we're made up of the same stuff that you know, every, uh, the entire universe is made up of, including our entire planet. With practice, we can become one with it. The, because we're made of the same material. We're made of uh, the same, yeah. Yeah. And humanity used to be one with the planet. We're the ones who That's stepped huge. away. This is huge. I mean, I know I've thought of it before, but it just like clicked. Mm -hmm. you know <laughs> yeah. we are like the prodigal son you know but earth will always welcome us back hmm. wow. just because we're not acknowledging all the amazing stuff happening on our planet doesn't mean it stopped happening and you know, we've certainly done our share of damage to it, but it can always be reclaimed, just like the prodigal son returning home and being loved. Mm -hmm. But at the molecular level, we can fix stopping us from feeling it and being it. But that's think like of so much huger to me. Like you know, yeah. we are it. <laughs> But think how much repair we can do to our planet once we become comfortable with the fact that our planet, us, all of us, were created at the same time of the same material. So yeah. we can repair the earth because we are all one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It's huge. It's yeah. Huge. Yeah. I, the more we get into the feeling of it and the being of it, of being one with the planet, as opposed to the thinking about it, the more we can become effective with healing the harm that of our planet. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wow. Some lessons tonight that I have never thought of myself, really. So I'm it, it very That's why my mind is like completely blown. I mean, when you think of it at the subatomic level, at the, even like much smaller than that forget energetic i'm talking you know like smallest minutest particle mm -hmm. it's all the same <laughs> yeah thank you bonita <laughs> oh have a wonderful wonderful day everyone and thank you. we'll figure out all of this together 
Yeah, we're going forward together. We'll figure it out. Thank you for tonight. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Take care of yourself. And Bye, everyone. Well. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye, all.